We had another hot tip. It's new Marvel. Oh, there's the umbrella for uh, for the penguin. Need to check that out. Perfect. <laughs> just dropped from Rook. I took down from Rook. Like, seriously, what just happened? Sammy, Sammy, S Sammy. Three Sammies. Not three sandwiches, just three Sammies. Not Fantana from Anchorman, but Mantana. Let me do a grand. Uh, let me do a grandy. Grandy pumpkin spice latte. She's Danish. We don't do pink drinks. We don't do pink drinks in this house. Not saying we're judging. Perfect. What's up guys welcome back to jb's toy trunk jb in the house in the actual toy trunk thank you guys for checking in again on this week's hunt and haul video got a little bit of news and a few things to pass on so we're just going to get right to it because a lot of stuff to cover and a pretty decent uh toy haul and of course mail call but before we get to any of that i just want to go ahead and just Again, put this out there as far as thank you to all the subscribers, to all you guys that tune in weekly. You know, you hit the like buttons, you comment. It means a lot to me. You know, uh, seven to eight months ago now, I, you know, started this YouTube channel. And I never knew that it would uh, be where I'm at today. And I'm not saying I'm just some super popular dude at all. But, you know, I do have a lot of you guys communicating with me. And it's like I have friends from all over the world now. And it's... We're not the best of friends, but we're definitely friendly and we are talking about toys and that escapism from, you know, sometimes the cruel world. And the biggest reason why I got back into collecting, not just the casual collecting with uh, my boys and, you know, my, and Marsha, my wife, and then now with my granddaughter, it's hot and heavy into it. So, um, and it's serious and it's fun and, and it's exciting. But there are some times in our community where I see it get kind of, you know, it, it get it, we get at each other for some reason. And I, I don't, I know why, because a lot of us, this is our living, this is our livelihood. A lot of you guys um, have your own shops. A lot of you guys, you know, have been doing this a heck of a lot longer than I've been alive, you know. And so I, again, I truly appreciate you just tuning in and listening to me rant and you know, watch my my journey as the reborn rookie into uh, collecting toys and collectibles. But, you know, when I look at it uh, and my past history and my career and where I've been and where I come from, there's there's a lot of important stuff out there in the world to care about outside of what we do. And our world, as far as here in the United States, it's it's crazy. So, I can speak only for me and only for what I've seen. And of course, I live in the United States, but I know for a fact that I'm truly blessed and lucky to be in a position that I'm in. And I will never, ever take any of that for granted. The freedoms that I have, the freedoms that we have on, on YouTube to just communicate, to have this dialogue, it's, it, it goes a long way to me. And that's the reason why, you know, I consider doing this you know, seven, eight months ago. And then of course the, the great friends that I've met along the way, um, it's tremendous. And I want to thank all those guys. Um, and you guys know who I'm talking about. My, my guys that have kind of mentored and, uh, encouraged me to start the channel, but you know, I want to really thank you guys to help me and my family get away from a lot of the, the nonsense that we see in the world. Cause it's not going away. And that's where I'm saying a lot of my effort as far as you know, what's going on in the world. It, it It's it's important. This is important. Don't get me wrong. It's important because it, it helps us, you know, get away from the, the craziness that we have to deal with, you know, outside of Target and Walmart and BBTS and Entertainment Earth. But real quick, two to three minute ramble, guys, on 
my true appreciation for you guys, my true appreciation for the community, helping me find, you know, joy again in 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 a great life that I've had and a great life that I have and a great life that I will have. And now it's with you guys. So never, ever want to make, you know, make it seem like I am ungrateful. I never want to make it seem like, oh, I'm not getting that HasLab. It's way too much. It is way too much. And it's, I, I, I hate it. <laughs> but that's as far as it goes. It's not going to run my life. Um, finding a chase is not going to ruin my life if I never find it. Um, again, because I've been there and done that and seen some things that are pretty horrible. And I'm just fortunate to be in a position now where I can try to not so much forget it, but just to move along from it and move along to, hey man, how come I can't get that new Boba Fett droids? You know, you know the trivial things to me. Um, but you know, in, in our conversations and our debates about life, it's, it's, you know, sometimes that open forum and the freedom of speech and freedom of thought and opinion. And I enjoy it. I embrace it. And at the same time, I've learned over the many, many years to, you know, mature and try to be more professional about things. And a lot of my friends um, that I have, uh, Jersey Geek, Century the Mad Collector, uh, Mr. Sintastic, Zach Jack Dan, and of course, Man Cave Collectible Reviews. Those five that, and those five that I've gotten to know over the past couple years and now really close these past couple, you know, this, this year, um, I truly embrace the friendship that they've opened up to me. And um, I value that more than anything because I do have friends here in the Charleston area. And I, of course, I got my family, but outside of that, you know, these guys these guys are my new me as far as not a new me but the new part of me which is toys and collectibles and i have a great time with these guys uh communicating and watching i'm a i'm a i'm a super fan if if this channel doesn't survive past whatever that's fine i am going to continue to watch these guys just like i watch a lot of your guys's channel too i know a lot of you guys that follow me have channels too um i'm just a fan of this this youtube forum this youtube forum of hunting Showing off what we got. Oh, that's awesome, man. I hope I get it in my area too. It's fun. It's like we're living next door to each other, except via the, the internet, the, the YouTubes. So now going on a six minute little rant on thank you and my appreciation to you guys, even though a lot of you guys out there, we don't see eye to eye on. I don't you know, I don't like some of the things that you guys collect. And I know for sure you guys don't like some of the things I collect. But we're still having fun because we're allowed to. It is joy. It is toys. It is plastic. And it's fun. It's supposed to be fun. So we'll have those fun little professional debates. We'll poke the bear a little bit. We'll, we'll jab at each other. But in the long, and you know, all in all, we're just big boys, big girls, just having fun collecting some of our childhood. So speaking of childhood, go ahead and sit back for a bait. I'm going to tell you, it's it's a great toy hunt. It's not as good as these past couple weeks where we're finding the Dark Trooper and Mando Crease and we're finding Macho Mans and stuff and we're just finding one thing after another We because we found those already. Stay tuned. Watch this hunt. We find some more. Hang on tight for the quick haul portion and mail call portion and then of course a quick little discussion on a 550 dollar three foot by four foot play set world that i'm still considering on getting i have no idea where i'm gonna put it but we'll talk we'll talk after the hunt we'll see you guys soon doing a quick check up at mount pleasant and he-man i don't have this he-man thinking about it I think I should. They're all humans right there. I need a Skeletor, but all we got is Prince Adam. That's okay to have Prince Adam. Next to She-Ra, I have, ooh, got three left. Maldo Crease, found him originally in North Charleston. And everything else is the same, which is okay. We've been hitting it hard. There's been a lot of stuff out, like these guys, retro. 
And of course, Marja said the real MVP. Still hanging out. Macho, macho man. All right, guys, let's see what else they got. Got your compliment of Marvel Legends. Let me know, guys, what did you guys think of the releases yesterday? Some definite hit with the X-Men animated series, and I think some misses also. Let me know in the comments what you are excited for. What about Mojo? Got some Mojo. Got some characters coming out with the Mojo. Oh, look at that. Wakanda Forever. That's pretty cool. Man, look at that detail. Is that, is that Nakia? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That is an awesome looking figure right there. I like the packaging. Mm -hmm. Plastic free, right? <laughs> so there you go. The former war dog. So I wonder if this is street dated. This might be street dated. What else we got? You like who? Speedball. speedball? You see Speedball. I like Iron Man. He's funny. He's... I was like, he's tatted out. Those aren't tats. <laughs> got the gore. Mm -hmm. No? All right, you got your DC. Oh, we got some some tangerine. Tangerine ninjas. Go with your complimentary pink ninjas. That tangerine. Nebula, Gamora, which I still haven't picked up. D, not DC, but Transformers. Tire guys. This is your DC. Still haven't found that Bane. Probably won't for a while. And then again, we got our Lothar and our Mandrake, which we picked up last week. So, all right, let's see what else they got. I don't know, am I gonna get this Lego or no? Ten dollars off. Ten dollar gift. Why well, I don't see the know, gift card thing here. They have them on these. I still want to go up there and it not give me a gift card. So, yeah. But I want it. Yeah, we'll see. Ooh, what do you got here? What do you got here? Ooh, see Darth Vader and Obi Wan. Ooh, we got a case of Farouk. some stuff over here got a build up pack some more of that Maldo crease mm -hmm. put some over here yeah you know what? street fighter down here see the street fighter over here street fighter right there wow DC right there. Oh, well, look at that. A stereo. First time seeing that. I don't see a Shango up there. I see an Undertaker. Uh, oh, look. Baroness. Yep, that's right, guys. Look at that head. Nice little divot from the glasses. I get it too, but I don't have a molded head where I could put my glasses on. I'm going to probably pick up a Destro if I find it. I'm just not going to pick up the Baroness. I already have her, and I'm good. Remember, you got your Shell Foreman, Crockmaster, and Fiona. No, I'm kidding. Um, some Fortnite. Let's just do a quick scan. We say inventory check. Inventory check. Some Star Wars. Some Reva. Obi-Wan. DC, you got your superpowers. Still haven't seen that second wave. I don't think I think I have. I'm not really looking for it. Just want to find it in store. Man, got a crushed Vulcan over here. So, and you got some Transformers and Jurassic Park. Let's uh, see what Target has. What's up, guys? it this way okay I guess the new droid bubble set black series is here let's go see if it's here mm -hmm. early Sunday morning dance tunes at the target 
That's how they always do when you film a toy hunt. Hey, this is store number three. We're trying to find the new Boba Fett from the Droids uh, Black Series. So let's see what they got. New Rey Mysterio from that wave. Still haven't found Molly Holly. Some guys just picked up the uh, Dark Trooper in the Maldo Crease. So good for them. It's awesome. <laughs> Oh, first time seeing Pig Man. What you do, you hide the Pig Man. Good card, too. First time. I'm going to pass on him, too. Don't need him. So, so, so today, yeah, we found the whole way. We found He Man at Somerville. Found Skeletor, West Ashley, Mantana, I think West Ashley, and then Pig Man here in Rivers. So awesome. Let's put him out so people can find him. Got your pig man. There's no one else. Yeah, just, just those guys. What else? What else? Uh, anything else? You guys see anything? Let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But yeah, also we got a Rey Mysterio. I don't know how much filming I'm going to do today. It is busy, but at the same time, there's really not too much uh, different. Well, never mind. Lady J. So. Three Lady J, we saw three Baroness over at the Azalea. Not bad. Lady J action. I need a Destro. I need Destro. Destro. Oh, Destro, where you at? Got your Sludge. Starting to see him more often, which is good. Got a Crotmaster and Fiona. Oh, let's bring those guys out. They need to be out so we can get off the shelves. Uh, some Marvel. Ooh, new Wakanda Forever basic figures. Yeah, all right, guys. We don't see too much. It's getting busy. We'll see what else we got. And just what I was looking for, not the Randy Orton or the Mace, even though the Mace is pretty cool. There's the Mysterio I was actually looking for. That's right. British Bulldog. Brett the Hitman. Who's this Nash Carter? Nash Carter. Oh no, Nash. Get out of here, Sting. Ah. Stephanie. She's got some edge. Got edge. Nash Carter, Mace, who's this other guy? And Wesley. Look at that. Next to your championship belt. So there you go. Got the whole, whole lineup. All right. Thanks, Ryan, for the hookup. Found my Bret Hart. I get the pick of one of the three. And you got some Wesley, Nash Carter, Stephanie McMahon, Mace, Rey Mysterio. There's the Edge, Randy Orton, and the other one that I wanted, the British Bulldog. So we'll be taking these two home today. Good Sunday.
I would say not too bad. Of course, when you look at pallets, you see some more of the uh, wrestling. Mace, Edge, Wesley, Red Hitman. Look at that. All here for you guys. Goose Creek. Is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. Same stuff. Except we got Speedball today. Look at that. All right, so let's look at the Avatar. Let's dissect this Avatar. You ever seen this movie? I've seen half of the first one. <laughs> He's in half. It's like, what, an eight-hour movie? Yeah, so, like so for those of you guys, leave it in the comments. This uh, Jake Sully. I don't know Jake Sully. He looks like a cool dude. I don't know. He's got two, what, two extra hand sculpts. Is that a knife and a bow? There's the uh, barcode. Is that riding a snake? Is that a flying snake? I don't know. <laughs> so, and this would be the, the scale then, huh? With uh, Colonel Miles. Corridge. That's interesting. That's it. What is that about? What is that about three and three quarter? And what is that guy about like 18 and three quarters? <laughs> <laughs> He's like tall and lanky, man. That's awesome. That's cool, man. Let's see. Yeah. So, so I just saw another customer. I guess she took the uh, He-Man 40th, which is good for her. It's a good, good, good pull. Look at this, Mando, Mando, Mando. One, two, three, four. Man, there's ten of them. Some Dark Trooper, and then Axe Wolves back there. Oh. Retro Obi, put him down there. There's the Boba Fett, Morak. Macho Man, oh, Molly Holly. Molly Holly in the house. Had a tip that she was here, but I asked if there was a chase and the answer was no. So no chase in there, at least here. Someone's probably hiding it. Red Ranger. You got some Thundercracker, Galvatron, and you got Prince. Prince playing for us. Prince on the on the overhead speaker. It's Club Target with the artist formerly known as. So I got some more of your Wakanda Forevers. Did you see the new um the deluxe um Ironheart? She she's gonna come in a deluxe like this windowless. Yeah. <laughs> but these have a window, you can see his tattoos. I might get this. This dude looks cool, man. I'm not. I can't. I, no, man. I'm just spending, I'm spending, spending like $100 on one Star Wars figure. <laughs> They're expensive, man. All right. Let's go see what NECA has. Transformers. There you go. New Wakanda Forever. Let's check the paint apps. Paint apps on the Kia. Check your paint apps on Everett. And then check your paint apps on Okoye. Hmm. Art looks pretty good. Of course, it's from a movie. It's hard to mess up that. And here comes the music. Yay! I wonder if these are street dated. Oh, come on, JB, look up. Finally. Okay, now, this is what I was looking for because I was talking with my buddy Man Cave you know, about our lines that we're collecting. And I know a lot of us aren't collecting legends anymore. And, but for my collection, I need a comic inspired or accurate Black Panther. And this is going to be it. Saw some reviews. And, well, let me check the paint apps on these guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being stupid. Like I always am. And I appreciate you guys for always hanging out with my... <sighs> For my antics, anything up top, nothing over there, DC. And I'm thinking about getting, I can never say that, but 
just because he looks cool. We'll see. But there you go. Welcome back, muchachos, you bad gangsters of plastic. Welcome to the toy haul and mail call portion of what's in the trunk. I tell you what's in the trunk. We got a lot more plastic than I thought I was going to find. I thought I was just going to go on some scouting missions, just do like uh, uh, our buddy Kent Pull. I heard him say it uh, when we met a couple months ago at Heroes Con, you know, or I saw it somewhere online saying, you know, the inventory check of our target inventory check of our Walmart, because sometimes that's what we end up doing. I'll tell you what, the inventory check for our area, along with a lot of you guys out there, uh, you hunters out there on YouTube, we all have been lucky in finding a lot of stuff. And everything on this table, I think I've seen, you know, we've collectively found over these past couple months. But it's my turn to go ahead and show off a little bit what I picked up. So speaking of that sore subject of Marvel Legends, I am out of Marvel Legends, as you can see. And you can't see it the way I got the camera set up today. It's there. But yeah, I got my street scene over there with my Marvel Legends. I'm out. For the most part. <laughs> I saw it on one of our chats. I'm not going to call anybody out. It was funny when, when you put that out there. So I'm out too. Kind of. And it's like me. I'm out. Kind of too. Sort of. I'm out of the, from right now, the MCU stuff. Because a lot of the MCU stuff out now, really, I can't get on board. I mean, Hawkeye was awesome you know, the, the series, but the figures I got to see in hand. I haven't seen it yet. Moon Knight figures look great. I got to see in hand. So those I might pick up. Now the zombie stuff coming out from what if I want to collect just those zombie figures coming out. So that's probably where it's going to go, but I'm not going to do the, the mega Ultron, you know, the super slurpy mega Ultron or anything like that. I might get a Gamora, you know, the Thanos Gamora, but you know, that's probably where it's going to go. It's going to be picking and choosing. Same thing for this Black Panther wave. Since I am MCU, normally I would pick up this Black Panther 2, you know, complete, completionist and, and build everything in there. But I just need to fill some of the gaps in my Marvel Legends collection. And that's what I'm going to be picking up from here on out. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with one of them. I can never say the name. The, uh... Hatut Zaraze. Let me know if I said that right. If I said it completely wrong, laugh. Give me a couple laugh emojis. Say, JB, you're, you're silly. Stop. But this is going to be cool to give as a backdrop, like one of those soldiers in army, but well, not that. And we picked up, that's right, the Black Panther himself. To go along, uh, along... <laughs> To go along the lines uh, with some of my, you know, comic inspired, more comic accurate Marvel Legend classic figures, you know, a classic looking like my Captain America tw um, 20th anniversary Captain America. I love that Captain America. I think that is the staple for this year. Like Kenny pose next to him. So. Uh, I saw a few reviews on this Black Panther, and I said, you know what, I got to grab it. So I'm going to bust them out eventually, put them up there, and see if it holds if it holds up. Another thing, another thing, another character that I really wanted to kind of build up on was some of my Spider-Men, Amazing Spider-Mans. So this one, yep, you can see it right there, the bullseye. A nice bent box, no window, but I left it like that so you could see that's how sometimes I get my Target stuff. So, you know me, out of box, but, you know, it's kind of kind of stinks that I had the amazing fantasy Spider-Man, the one with the, the wings right there. We're going to figure out how that works. But I grabbed him because I don't have many Spider-Men and the, you know, the, the Spider-Verse in my collection. So, this one along with... The recent pickups of the Spider-Man, we're going to go ahead and put them next to there. I mean, if we're going to go ahead and play the game, there's a multiverse, then I could get a hundred of these and be like, right? You know, playing pretend. Marvel Legends, moving on. A line that I told myself that I'm going to go ahead and just drop, I lied. Um, just because it is hitting the nostalgia feels and the nostalgia feels of the Masters of the Universe, especially when you see this 40th anniversary Prince Adam, 
aka he-man or however you want to say it and you can see my ring light in the uh, there's plastic mattel how dare you put plastic where i could see prince adam the most powerful man in the universe so let's go ahead and put most powerful person in the universe because my granddaughter is the most powerful person in the universe. He's number two. i had to wear my best pop shirt today and there's the artwork. Again, classic artwork. If I had the room, I would definitely leave in box. But, you know, I like to take pictures and I like to pose them. So, uh, he's coming out. I think the way that this displays is pretty daggon cool. What do you guys think in the comments? Let me know. Are you guys still collecting this line? I know the first wave was kind of like, cool, not cool. Then it was cool again. After getting the Hordak and She-Ra, getting a classic He-Man trying to get a classic Skeletor, sticking with the classics. Not, not poo-pooing any of the, the, the new figures and the change and the way they look, but it's not for me. If it's for you, great. If it's not for you, I'm with you. It's not for me. Those were the pick up. Oh, some more. They're right here in front of me. I like the way this set up because I could go right here, let it go, but you can't let this guy go when you see him. That's right intercontinental champion world tag team champion davy boy smith main evented SummerSlam 1992 and i tell you what i'm trying to remember if i even seen this live or had to watch it on a vhs tape for those of you, you young people watching vhs tape google that one holla back davy boy a little bit older than when he was with the british bulldogs but I had to I had to jump on the nostalgia bag one, especially since I'm out of wrestling. I'm out until I find this guy or this guy right here. Brett the Hitman Hart. Uh, I have the one from earlier this year. And I, I, I think most of us like this version of Brett better. I mean, come on. Look at that, dude. Come on, ring light. Work with this box. There you go. Come on now. Brett the Hitman Heart with the belt. Yeah, <laughs> You guys like that. You WWE and AEW guys. You guys got to get the figures with the belts. Definitely adds on. Part of this group, Edge Mace, Nash Carter, Wesley, and then, of course, Brett and then Stephanie. Definitely skipped on the Stephanie because if I'm going to get a Stephanie, I'm not going to get that, that outfit. I got to get something where she's the business Stephanie. And then um, these guys, sorry, WWE guys, I don't remember them, obviously. I yeah, Edge, of course we know. And then Mace, cool name, cool looking figure, definitely found him, but none of them are a Bret Hart. None of them are a British Bulldog. So wrestling scores for the week. Thanks uh, to our buddy Ryan. Thanks, Ryan, for giving me that little scoop. Said, hey, man, he, that guy hunting. That, I think I hunt. Yeah, that guy is hunting. He is a hunter. He is one of the hunters of the area. <laughs> going to what I told you guys that I'm going to stick with and just collect. Star Wars. That's it. Everything else is meh. Axe Woves came in the mail, even though we've seen him many times over the past couple weeks in our targets. Had to pick up the Axe Woves. Uh, recent news of the 6-inch Axe Woves coming out. And I did hear some commentary some, on some other channels talking about, oh, great, another Mandalorian. Wasn't it just a couple months ago when, oh, we need more Mandalorian, and now it's like that's all we're getting are Mandalorians. I'm okay with it. I love the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian is the one that kind of, pushed me and Marsha back into the Star Wars world. It kind of like refreshed us and woke us up. A little green monster named Grogu, maybe you heard of him. He changed the lives of many of us, especially during the, 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 the serious COVID years where we're like, what's going on in the world? There's a little green puppet, looks like Yoda called Baby Yoda. And these guys called the Mandalorians, which we already knew about, but now we're seeing them in you know live action and really doing some Doing some damage on the TV and doing some damage now in our wallets because 
yeah, we're getting a lot of these guys. Um, I've been working on that TVC video and I actually did it last week and I just have to go through some of the edits. I'm looking at my shelf, guys. I have probably 50 TVC figures off the card. You're welcome, Mr. Sintastic. We love you, buddy. Um, I just have to take them off card, have to display them, have to get them out of the plastic, the plastic mold and let them breathe. Also, special shout out to Man Cave Collectible Reviews. Uh, I opened your beard, buddy. I opened both of your beards. So you guys are going to have to stick around probably in the next couple weeks when I finally drop that video. You're going to see what I'm talking about, the beard. And if you remember the Heroes Con video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Last thing that we're going to open up, guys, before we get into just a little bit more is... Uh, pickup from Walmart. Walmart exclusive Empire Strikes Back, uh, the Vintage Collection, VC 234. The true hero of the Star Wars franchise, the, the, the guy, the vault. He's the vault. He keeps every, every secret out there. He's kind of, actually kind of mischievous in that way. And I cannot thank Walmart enough. Here are the pictures. Yeah, that's right, people. Another bent card from Walmart. R2-D2. My man. I wanted one on card. I was only able to pre-order one. So hopefully I could find another one because he's obviously coming off. I can't. You can't fix this. Walmart. Do better, be better. Please and thank you. And if you look at that video, how about some of those cards we saw with, uh, you know, uh, Baroness and Lady J? They were great looking cards on the peg. So for those of you guys hunting that, hopefully it's the same for you. Because if you're on card, it's perfect. Um, Retro G.I. Joe card, uh, Black Series. Rewind. G.I. Joe Classified Series. On the retro card, recent release, I think we had, what, is it the Crimson Guard and Snake Eyes? If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. If I'm right, here's the pictures. Um, oh, here's the pictures of the two that were released just today. Normally, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I've got to put them on my card. I'm done with all that stuff. The last one that, you know, the, the gung-ho, we needed that because of the color accuracy to the cartoon. Awesome figure. Love that. Love that gung-ho ripped him off card here's a quick little video of it you didn't know i was going to do that did you neither did i okay ripped him off the card i'm not going to get any more carded retro figures especially if they're going to come in a box you know sometimes we keep the box and for storage later on I'm just going to keep it like that so i'm passing all that what else am I passing on with today's news? Uh, today, there was some more figures getting revealed, you know. Uh, well, not today. I guess you could say this week. Mattel's pushing out, you know, another wave of Masterverse. Here you go. Here's some pictures. Uh, the I might pick up some of them. I don't know. I'm going to have to see them in hand and see if they're going to fit my shelf and, of course, fit my collection. And, I, again, I owe that type of mentality and train of thought to the five guys that I mentioned earlier, you know, and then of course the rest of the, you know, the other community that I watch, you know, there's so many other channels that I watch toy hunting and toy collecting and toy reviews. Sometimes it's not about getting anything and everything, you know, you cannot be, I, I cannot be a completionist. So um, I'm going to have to really look at those Masterverse figures. And the same thing goes for the Motu Origins uh, figures coming out. One I will definitely get. I am not going to pre-order him because I'm pretty sure I could find him in stores eventually is the Cobra Khan. I did have a Cobra Khan when I was a kid and I'm like, dude, I want that. Again, you know, um, just awesome looking figure. And I think that was one of my last Motu figures that I've ever, you know, collected as as, as a young, young chubby Filipino dude living in Hawaii. So, um that's that's where you know that the nostalgia with Motu would probably end with the Cobra Con. But I'm saying that not knowing what other figures, the, the Mechanet coming out, I might grab him. I just don't need the vehicle, the Ripcord, and I think the Ripcord. Am I saying that right? Hopefully. Oh my gosh. Hopefully, I said. 
I don't think it actually has the uh, rip cord, you know, uh, gim not so much a gimmick, but that motion and that tech. Wow. 1980s action figure and vehicle, all that tech in there. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like the tech in that Marvel Legends. No, oh, sorry. Whoa, whoa, time out, time out. But with the Eternia, leave it in the comments. Are you guys going to grab it? Are you thinking about it? Are you like, oh, heck no, not 550? Actually messaging some of the guys talking about, you know, gas prices and the median income back in 1985 when the first Eternia came out. Thanks to uh, Mr. Sintastic, he, you know, he had a little clipping of the Eternia when it was $89.99. I was like, man, $89.99. I'm halfway there, you know. Um, <laughs> give me a, give, give me one Tika, $89.99. The... $89.99 and $85. And then, of course, I'm not a math person at bringing it to, you know, 2022. I think Man Cave said, was it $250? I think he said $250, like on an inflation cal you know, calculator. So I think all of us would jump on it at $250. We will find space. I will move my red, my red little sofa back here. I'll, I'll make room. But $550, that's that's kind of pushing it. Now on the aftermarket. It's up there. Um, shout out to our guys up there in Virginia Beach, Virginia, Toy Meister. They have, I think, on display one boxed complete Eternia, and they also have one complete out of box on display up there in uh, Toy Meister. So um, it was great to see every time I go there and I'm like, oh, and I can't remember the, the price on it, but it's up there. So for you Motu, heavy Motu fans, are you going to grab that Eternia at? The whopping 550. It does come with King Grayskull, the Origins style, not the Masterverse style. Great. $20 figure exclusive. Is that really going to push you over the edge? So, And also, the, the last thing on this is crowdfunding. You know, it's it's a crowdfunded um, item. I, I guess you could see why, because it is, it's a it's a big commitment. So 5,000 backers, I think it's they said, to, to grab that. So leave it in the comments, guys. Last thing before we head out of here, and I'm going to keep it after this, after this portion, after I sign off. If you want to watch just a quick little skit, um, uh, about a minute, I did do some unboxing or taking off card my Marvel Legends retro collection. I do, I am missing a few, and of course I don't have the, mo the most recent waves, both recent waves. Um, I still need to pick up, but... I started to take them off cart because I'm I'm getting a lot closer to finishing my my displays up here and a, a big thank you to the daddy himself. I messaged him a lot and he's probably tired of it, but I don't care. I just want to tell him thanks for the advice, the simple advice of saying, "Dude, take those off cart, man. Don't they they're going to look great off cart." I'm like, "I got to do it off cart." And I did. And they look great. They look so great in hand and um I can't spoil it, but I think within the, some of our friend community, there's, there might be some guys picking some up too, because when, we, when you see it, you're like, wow, that looks great. So leave it in the comments, you know, let's call, let's talk. How many of you guys are actually, you know, collecting the Marvel Legends a retro collection? I know they look a lot better than my super expensive reaction, <laughs> super seven reaction GI Joe figures, which, you know, hey. I'll take my punches. I, for some reason, I just love it. Okay. Big dunce cap on me. Uh, Raiders, right? Big dunce cap. I think, I, I think uh, I'm going to continue to open these three and three quarter and retro collection figures out because they're just, they're just truly amazing to, to see on the shelf. And again, uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Stevie uh, from Hasbro. He, um, he found my post and he commented and he put it in the story and I thought that was pretty, pretty cool of him. I, you know, I'm just a fan of this stuff and he is a super fan of the 375 and you know he has it all over his Instagram saying keep 375 alive and things like that. So retro 375 definitely in the house this week and after I sign off. Speaking of signing off, I've kept you way too long and I. If you made it this far, thank you so much for hanging out with JB Toy Trunk and JB me. Thank you for hanging out with me and JB's Toy Trunk, the channel. 
for uh, all this time. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you think you're gonna like this content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Love to have you uh, come along for this journey. Again, I am a, I'm an old guy that got back into collecting full-fledged uh, over these past couple of years and um, just documenting the journey. And it's, a, it's truly a blessing to be able to do that and share that with you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Share it with your friends if you want to. If not, hey, thanks for thanks for trying. <laughs> but um, I want to wish everybody a safe and happy weekend. Hopefully you guys can see this uh, this weekend if uh, YouTube lets me upload it the way we're supposed to be able to upload things on YouTube. Also, big shout out to everybody who's at New York Comic Con. So if you're at New York Comic Con, watch my video Monday. Don't worry about this now, man. Go have fun, be safe, enjoy yourself, spend money that you have and you could afford. And of course, document it, take pictures. You know, um, we want to see everything out there on Instagram and on YouTube and we're whatever social media platform that you may be on. We want to see you at New York Comic Con. Last bit of news, golly, last bit of news. There's always something, right? Hopefully, hopefully heading up to Charlotte Saturday, um, hopefully get a few minutes at least to go say hi to some of our buds up there, but me and Marsha need to get away. Um, it's been a busy week and it's even busier right up to the day that we're going to go to Charlotte. So, but we just need to go. Hopefully we get to see some of our buds. If not, oh well, but definitely going to hit up a couple stores if we do get up there. So hopefully the next video you see might be a hunt from the greater Charlotte, North Carolina area. Now I'm going to sign off. Now I'm going to give you the shaka. Now I'm going to say you guys have a great rest of the week, weekend. Always enjoy the ride in life, guys. We will see you guys next time. Here's some retro Marvel Legends for you. See you guys in the next Peace. Perfect. Perfect.